In this episode of Create Colonies, we do a bit of customization in my industrial district and deal with a couple long forgotten projects in my vault. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Create Colonies, and today uh, we're passing by a lot of guards. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of guards. What the heck? Jeez, guys. Maybe spread out a little bit next time. Y'all are very, very concentrated in one space. I need you guys to protect the colony generally, not in one spot very well. Okay. Um, today we're gonna be starting off with a little bit of work on the colony. I want to make sure that everybody still has everything that they need and they get done some things. Curious as to how this is going. It looks like it's at least getting started. Our old kelp farm over here. Can't wait to see that up and running. It's gonna be really, really nice. Got our cactus farm right here. Sugar cane over here. That's all doing well. We've got the university, which is, I bet you, I bet you, it's at... I'm gonna say 86%. All right, take your guess. Take your guess. What? Where? How? How much? How? How finished is the university? All right. 79%. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Diamond player. Diamond player. What are you doing? Oh my God. Why is it taking you so long to get this thing done? And then the graveyard and the enchanter's tower. Let's see what the what they're where they're at. They've used 20% and they need a few more things, but that's okay. I think I think they'll be fine. What, which project is this? The Enchanter's Tower. I'm, I have a feeling that they're like stuck or something. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Why are you standing out here on this on this ledge? Mm. Kind of not a great spot. Okay, the Enchanter's Tower. They're, uh, supposedly, bro is actually working on it. Wow, good job, Kukamungan. You actually, you're actually getting it done. And look at that, he actually takes the road we need him to take. Oh, so, so nice. So nice. That seems to be- this block always disappears. This one right here. So annoying. I don't- I don't- I don't get it. What was the other building we're gonna get, work, work- look at? Enchanter's Tower? Oh, yeah! Oh, Our graveyard! Look at that! It's beautiful! Wow! Oh, that's fantastic! That's looking so nice, like a little church on the hill. Oh, I like it! Oh, and look at that! It's done! Right, right as I, right as I show up, it's finished. Wow. All the terraforming I did still seems to look nice. That is looking really great. That's a good upgrade. Now, Kike should get to working on uh, something else now, right? Right, Kike? Ah, it was Jacob, and he's getting work, he's getting to work on the combat academy now. Okay. Let's see, what do you need? You're 20% supplied already. That is quite a few items, Jacob. Ew, hey. Don't sneeze on me. Okay, mm I got you almost everything you need for the combat academy. Almost. Done. Diddly. That's it. It's got everything he needs. And it's nighttime. So I need to sleep. Now, you know what? One thing I was thinking was that this area here, it doesn't make a lot of sense that it's grass. So I'm thinking I turn the grass in this little, like, construction area into podzol. I'm gonna need podzol. And I don't really want to get it from the nearby area, so I think I'm gonna try to get it from out here somewhere. Doesn't look like there's any podzol out here, actually. And I'm, and I'm kind of surprised by that. I guess we'll just make some. All we need is some spruce saplings. Boom! Podzol everywhere. This is slow. This is really slow. This sucks. I, I really wish we could put Silk Touch on the drills. That would make a life a lot easier, wouldn't it? Hey, well, you know what? While I'm doing this, I have a question for y'all. Have you guys seen Parkour Civilization? <laughs> because, oh my god, it is so good. I wish I could make stuff like that. It's so great. Whoa. Whoa, look at this. Why have I not seen this? What is this hole? Oh my gosh, uh, it, uh, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? It's called a stalagmite. Look at this big old stalagmite. Oh, <gasps> wow. Oh, look at this. What is this stuff in here? Corundum. Oh my gosh, this is a nice little cave over here in the middle of nowhere. I had no idea this was here. All right, let's get back home and see what we can do with this puzzle. Actually, you know what? I could just grow a tree, like, right in the middle of this area. It probably won't reach over to, like, these other spots. <gasps> there it is. Look. I made podzol. Not a lot of it, though. It looks like roads and other buildings actually do completely stop the growth of the podzol. Which is good to know. Yeah, I mean, that looks less good, but that's kind of the point, right? I want my industrial district to feel more industrial, you know? Oh, be in a bonnet. I ran out of freaking podzol. 
Um, but I think that the colony is actually producing pods all now, no? With the with the composters, maybe? Pods all. Okay. Never mind. I guess the colony isn't producing pods all. I guess we're doing the uh, the old the old tree trick. Does Pozzo, like, grow on its own? Can I just replace all this with dirt? I don't get it. Will the Pozzo grow on its own or not? It actually doesn't seem like it will. Ay, yeah, yeah. Do I really have to go pick up more of this stuff? Oh, fine. I'll go get more Pozzo. I got like, what, four stacks of it? Not bad at all. My bed is calling. You better tell your bed to stop calling and get back to work. It's not bedtime yet. Oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding me, I'm out. I'm out. Dang it. I swear to God, this is the only patch. The only little patch on my poop of brown ground. I'll get more puzzle for my composters later. Let's let's continue this little project here, okay? So first of all, I want to get some cobbled deep slate and uh, go to one of these architects cutters and get some some of these panels. And we're gonna treat these as like little rocks. There we go. Now we need um, some of these ferns. We've only got 18. I think I want to clump these like around where they might naturally end up, you know, like places where you're not going to walk normally. Uh, I want to do like a, like a spruce log here. Some of these copycat steps. There we go. Okay. We're going to put like a base in here, like uh, here somewhere. There we go. Now we've got like a little, mi little mixer here. Maybe. Oh, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. You know how sometimes at like work sites, the ground gets all muddy. You have to like place these like planks on the ground in order to get around. There we go. That's what that is. Floor's all muddy over here. Eh, it might be. These guys might have a problem getting around. That looks a lot better. This looks more like a work site, you know? They really. Man, they really hate walking on this stuff, don't they? Just a few minor changes. Might just put something over here. Maybe like a cauldron. With like a warning label on it. It's like a package. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, now let's see. Let's see how our builds are doing. We've been here for a little bit, so they should have uh, done some stuff. 79% still. Well, what are you Need doing, something? diamond player? Are you even working? I swear, it's like he's just walking around. This is why the university takes so long to finish. Is because diamond player keeps fumble in the bag combat academy well what are you doing oh you just finished it no way oh that's so much better look at that ready to rock and roll i like how they have these like the vines like they're practicing on vines how's it going jacob man jacob finished this so fast it looks a lot better now that it's like all uniform very nice now what else do we got cooking up uh oh Oh, that's really looking better, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Was that the old- this is the old roof? Man, you're going quite a bit higher with this. That's gonna look awesome up there on the hill. Now then, uh, another project we should actually look into is upgrading this building and this building over here. Okay, two of our more Im important buildings and they're quickly running out of space. So that's why I wanted to get those going. I think some people in the colony were complaining about being tired. So I want to make sure that everybody gets a decent night rest, decent night's rest tonight. All right, that should be, that should be enough sleep. Everybody wake up, wake up everybody. I'm not paying you nothing for nothing. Get, get to work. Ooh, the kelp farm is almost done. Oh yeah, look at that. Hey, that's looking all right. You know what? Instead of just waiting for these guys to, uh, you know, do their thing, I've got another project I'd like to get into, uh, which is over here in the vault. Uh, it's not a big project, but it is one that I've been kind of neglecting a lot. And it's this over here, this opening. It's supposed to be an opening that goes down into the uh, mines here, but it, it's always been kind of messed up. I know I'm going to be moving the uh, nether portal somewhere. Okay, I kind of have... What the heck? Get lost. Okay, I kind of have an idea now. And to be honest, I should have thought of this earlier because I think I could have used this idea for a, uh, a lava pit. We're here now. Let me see here. I need my portable drill. We're going to be cutting big holes into the earth. We're going to need the minecart contraption now. What? 
I think our colony barrier is messing with stuff. Uh, that's a real pain, you know? You try to build this thing, this cool thing, and your gosh dang minecart contraption just doesn't work. I don't want to cut this all out by hand. Pi my plans ruined. We can figure something else out, okay? I'm smart. I am capable. I am brain worky. We're gonna make something happen here. I don't know why, but nether portal builds, like I always, I go ham on nether portal builds. And I feel like I've bit off a little more than I can chew on this project, especially for today. But um, we're here and we're doing it. Man, I had so many plans for this, but they all kind of fell through. And it's mostly because of the stupid mine colonies border that, that keeps everything from working correctly. All right, so I built another big metal room. And, um, and you might be wondering why I did that, but you will find out later on. Uh, because I can't actually finish this build today because it's getting it's getting a little bit late and I have other things to do I have other projects to uh, attend to but this one will be really really cool once I get once I get it all figured out What I basically want to build here is like a containment facility for the portal So I'm gonna put the another portal over there like in its own like room and it'll be like, you know, we'll be like testing it, you know? It'll be cool. It'll be cool. I just can't, I can't finish it today. Uh, somebody in the comments told me that there is actually an easy way for me to automate TNT. Now, I didn't think of this. I actually don't know why I didn't think of this. Oh, this is filled up. I need to upgrade this chest. Now it's going again. We have these things, the mechanical arms, and they can essentially take items off of a belt or uh, off of like a depot or something like that and place them into like a chest or a, a different corresponding slot. So that means that when we put down our mechanical crafters, it should make pretty light work of organizing all of the items into a in, in into the spots where they need to go. Okay, so we've got our nine mechanical crafters and I'm thinking I actually want them placed this way. Oh, sorry. Then I have my mechanical arms. One's gonna go here and the other's gonna go here, like that. This mechanical arm is gonna be affecting these and this mechanical arm up here is gonna be affecting these. It should, they should be able to access all of those. I hope. Uh, if we bring our sand to a depot right here, this guy should be able to pick it up. And then our other contraption is going to be sending to that depot. I'm mostly doing this because I kind of want to see these in action inside of this build here. So I've got this belt here that's going to be taking our sand to this depot right here. I should not be holding the wand. Uh, and then I've got uh, this whole unit, uh, the mechanical crafter that's actually going to be making our TNT. That's hopefully going to place the TNT onto this belt and go into this um, spruce drawer right here. And that will hopefully all work correctly. Okay, it does work. Okay. I wasn't sure if I could take items out of these spruce drawers, but I can. That is great. Same over here. Put that on there. Well, that goes up there. Uh, one of these. No, 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 wrong way. There we go, that's looking mighty fine. This belt, I want to go this way. It's opposite of the one next to it. Um, if I actually connect it up to these over here behind the system, that should give me the right direction that I want. There we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now, all I have to do is connect up a bit of power to this. Okay, our mechanical crafter is up and running. Now, if I put a gearbox here, cogwheel there, that should be operational. Now, why is my mechanical arm not grabbing? Go, do the thing, mechanical arm. Hmm, deposit, deposit. That was my problem. It was, it was saying to take items from everywhere. Deposit, 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 take. I have no idea what the actual range of these things are, which is why they're kind of crammed in here. I was just nervous. Yes, not gonna lie, it's exceedingly slow. But it is very cool. It's very, very cool. Look. Da, da, da. TNT. We are making, we are making bombs. It's, it's a bomb factory for, for bombs. Now I kind of feel like this thing needs to be faster. Dude, I swear, if I had everything running all at once, this, this area would be so crazy laggy. It would be actually insane. Um, there is also something else I'd like to do down here which is change up this area um, because I kind of just... I made this place in such a rush, you know? And I feel like it, it deserves a bit more uh, respect. I'm gonna have to be very careful not to break anything in here because I'll be honest, I have no idea how all this goes together anymore. See kids, this is why 
you always build your floors first and not second because you're going to end up having to crawl around weird spaces like this. It's a pain in Minecraft. It's a pain in real life too. Ask your dad. He'll know. Okay. Check this out. Remember these? Remember these thingies? These, these little braces that I had everywhere all over the place? Well, now I'm actually using them throughout the rest of the, uh, th the rest of this place. Uh, because I kind of totally forgot about adding them, uh, in the past. So now they're, now they're here. Now they're here. They're finally here. I also added windows to our, uh, artillery factory over here. All the way across the walls right there like that. You see that? How cool. How nice. I also, um, upgraded the artillery factory a little bit. I added this wall back here. I replaced the floor. And I also, um, made our range a little bit more, um, let's say, uh, OSHA compliant. Uh, this place is looking a lot, a lot nicer. I'm really curious about how much TNT we've made through the time of me building all of this. 140. Meh, that's I. Right. I guess. I think we could make this whole unit on its own just this faster. Oh, we've, oh, we still have gunpowder, but we ran out of, uh-huh. Ran out of netherrack. There we go. 10,000 netherrack in that box. We shouldn't run out for quite some time. So we're going to get a speed controller. Boom, just like that. Car wheels stick on top. I don't think it matters which direction these are going. No, it doesn't. Okay, now we can just max this thing out. There we go. See, that's a lot faster. Now our bomb factory is moving, moving way faster. It's just that little change. But that's great. I like that. Now, one thing I would like to do, honestly, because it's just kind of bugging me now at this point, is fix up these walls back here. There we go. That should at least hold us over for the time being. Man, this is this is getting close to being complete. There are a few things that I need to deal with. In particular, I will show you in a moment uh, after I'm done this wall here. There we go. Alrighty, lovely. Basically all of the walls are uh, opened up and um, actually being used, except for this one right here. I've got this little, like this little tiny space that's just completely unused. Frankly, I have no idea what to do with this. Maybe what I'll do is I'll like make it just like an aesthetic thing and I'll just add like a bunch of pipes and stuff, something like that maybe. Anyways, um, over here, this floor right here has been completely unfinished for forever, for since I re redid this whole room. I'd like to replace it. And what I'd actually like to do is replace it with one of those like glass fog effects. I don't know if you've ever seen those before, but it's really, they're really interesting. Um, to basically look like this just drops into an abyss. That's what I'd like from that. I'm actually gonna do something similar over here. I'm actually kind of excited to see what this is, how this is gonna turn out. I'm gonna have to do that in the next episode because this is the end of the episode. This might be a short one. Uh, and it feels like lots of them are short lately, but just because I feel like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's just, it just doesn't seem like there's a lot going on in these episodes. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to, I don't know what to tell you guys. Uh, anyway, um, th thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. And um, maybe we'll finally have the university finished in the next one. Maybe we'll get some of the other builds done, like the bakery. I'd love to see that bakery uh, at least get started. Um, and what about over here?